Respected Chairperson Neeta Ma'am, Distinguished Chief Guest Mr. Amitabh Bachchan, our beloved heads, teachers, families, and my extraordinary class of 2018. As I stand before you addressing you for one last time, I'm feeling immensely overtaken by a multitude of emotions because after 14 years of assemblies, events, and exams in this very auditorium, it still hasn't hit me just how far we've come. Learning our alphabets from Mr. Puppets, listening to the enchanting stories of our teachers, and choosing a best friend to distribute our birthday chocolate with all seem like yesterday. I can vividly recollect the times when we stared at a candle flame in yoga to improve our concentration, first entered the science labs, and went on our first few trips away from our parents. And the last four years of independent choices, intense teacher and student debates, and wise time rationing have simply flown by. Together, we have come a long way from carrying our little plastic folders during office office in LKG to carrying our laptops during the IB board exams only 10 days ago. From learning digestion while eating biscuits to learning about the circulatory system via, the, via a goat's heart dissection, we have evolved from being complete strangers to knowing exactly which location we can find each other at a party. Regardless of how long we've called DAIS our home, we have all encountered the same deadlines, stress, and drama, and will all leave with the same values of respect and determination, temperament of taking risks, and motivation of facing new challenges head on. For the past 14 years, I have woken up at the same time to climb the same bus and enter the same school every day. And still it feels like it hasn't been enough. So obviously, looking at my incredible class, all grown up in our blue gowns and tasseled caps, isn't making saying my goodbyes any easier. In our time here, we have been taught happiness. Treats to candy floss, cakes, and pizzas have allowed, us to show, have allowed our, the inner child in us to show. You have constantly expected the best from us and have celebrated our admissions regardless of their ratio to our rejections. Whether we gained our joy from getting to take home brilliant or from submitting an I just before the deadline had passed, you have taught us to always find something to be grateful for. So, as we leave our bubble, I know that we will remember that in the same way our day of mistakes can end in cake, regardless of the hardships we face, we will always find a silver lining. Our school has taught us sadness. Through our losses, meetings of concern, and goodbyes, you have shown us how ruthless reality can be. We have all faced failure and rejection and have seen our fair share of negative slopes. But in sharing your stories and leading by example, you have taught us to accept fear with open arms and confront our obstacles with courage. So in the future, when we will face failure, we will remember that in the same way a chaotic flood and panicked situation can end in the most unforgettable sleepover, we will accept apprehension and use it to motivate us to be better creators. And with this, our DAIS family has taught us to be excited. Our class has always challenged and pushed each other to perform to the best of our abilities, while also being each other's tutors and cheerleaders. Our school has never missed an opportunity to commemorate our accomplishments and remind us of our unique potential. So, as we leave these gates, we will remember that in the same way an IOIP camp can lead to new discoveries about our cooking and athletic aptitudes, when we, put, when we are put in unfamiliar situations, we will be unafraid and excited for the next challenge that the world has to throw our way. Most of all, it has taught us gratitude and pride. Thank you, Mrs. Ambani. From the time you used to give us the tightest hugs in LKG, to the time when you taught us about carrying ourselves with dignity in grade 12. Your positivity, poise, and passion have truly been inspiring. To the heads, your belief in us 
has always wanted us to perform to the best of our abilities and be the best versions of ourselves. And despite your exterior toughness, your true soft insights have reassured us that you will support us no matter what. To our teachers for treating us like their own children, thank you for creating for us a strong foundation of principles and for instilling in us a passion for learning. To our non-teaching staff for keeping an eye out for us, you are the reason we will oddly miss the smell of relly spray and munching on palaji at the end of a long school day. Thank you to Mr. Amitabh Bachchan for being here today to share with us this special occasion. To my family for your undying support, love and understanding. And to all the parents and siblings in this room, thank you for trusting the promises of this extraordinary institution and for helping us along the way to make obstacles seem less daunting. Lastly, my unforgettable class of 2018. Thank you for being the reason that I came to school every single day and for making me unfailingly proud every single one of those days. Thank you for putting aside your differences to celebrate each other's admissions regardless of whether you got into college or not and reassuring each other when things didn't work out. You have made school a place that I can feel safe. Together Over the last 14, 5 or 2 years, we have been through many journeys and I know whether they were the fights or the parties, I will cherish them all. As we move our separate ways, every time we look for a silver lining, face failure with bravery, or get excited about the future with full faith in our abilities, we can know that we have learned it from each other and from the seeds that have been sown. in the grounds of what has been our home for the last few years this very auditorium has been the place where we have gained confidence from the speeches and performances we have given here all 104 of us have learned to dance to badri in this auditorium we have played sharks versus guppies and stick on the wall and now this very same auditorium is going to be the place where we graduate from high school as this room and this school echoes with the millions of memories we have made and the legacy we have left behind i am determined that soon these echoes will cross these blue borders and we will leave our legacy in this world it excites me unimaginably to think that a few years from now i will have a writer an actor a lawyer and an artist just a phone call away and have possibly some of my closest friends attend the next royal wedding <laughs> so although i am sad i could not be any happier and so any more excited than i am today to have been brought to this podium struggling to hold back tears trying so hard to not let go of something i value so much You have been my entire world for the last 14 years and now the entire world awaits you. Thank you.